Hello Techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with Analyze Entities Action, which is available under Cognitive Actions. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. What is the purpose of this Analyze Entities Action? This Analyze Entity Action will invoke the Google Cloud Natural Language Service named with Analyze Entities which extract the entities from the given text. Before going to learn about analyze entities parameters, first we will learn what is entity. Entity represents a phrase in the text, such as person or an organization or location, event or date. Each entity is described in the sense of name, type, metadata, salience, mentions, and sentiment. Now, what is the entity type? In a simple way, it is a type of entity. Most of the entity types are associated with metadata. Now, to work with analyze entities, we are having entity analysis. Entity analysis is performed with the analyze entities method. Entity analysis inspects the given text for known entities such as public figures, landmarks, etc. and returns the information about those entities. It is important to understand that the thing does not need to be a physical object. It can be a color or a date or an idea and many more. All right. Before going to work about the analyze entity parameters, first of all, we'll see an example for the entities. If you see on my screen, I'm having a text over here that is President Joe Biden will speak from the White House located at 1600 Pennsylvania, Washington, DC on October 7. This is the entire string over here. I need to extract the entities from the particular text by using analyze entities or by using entities analysis. How can we go ahead and do that? What are the entities over here? If you see, as we discussed, the entities can be a person or an organization or location, event or date or an address. Now, if you see here, Joe Biden is in person, right? And after that, if you see White House is the location, and 1600 Pennsylvania, Washington, DC, this is the address. And over here, again, 1600 is the number, or, and October 7 is the date. And you can see over here, so many locations also over here from the particular string. I want to extract all these entities by using analyze entities action. How can we go ahead and do that? First of all, we'll see the parameters for the analyze entities. The parameters are same for the analyze sentiment action, analyze entities action, as well as analyze syntax action as part of natural language, which is available under cognitive actions. All right, if you see the API key, that is application programming interface key, which is available at the cloud natural long ways, we are already having that keys over there. All right, let me go back to the cloud.google.com. There in our previous tutorial, we have created the API key by using APIs and services. For analyze entities, for analyze sentiment and analyze syntax, we are going to use the same API key which we have created. All right. To create that, we are going for the create credentials. And after that, we are going to select the option API key over there to create our API key, which is required at the natural long wave actions. All right. Now I'm going to copy the same key over here. Copy API key. And then I'm going to provide the same API key over here. Now, if you're going for the document type, we are having two types. One is plain text, another one is the HTML. I'm going to select plain text and provided file. 
the provided file is from the local or from Google Cloud Storage. You can see the options over here. I'm having from file, another one from GCS. GCS stands for Google Cloud Storage. Now, whenever you're going to select Google Cloud Storage, it will ask for the content URI, which is available at the Google Cloud Storage. All right, now I'm going to select from file. Now, whenever I have selected from file, it is asking for the file path on our local. I'm having the file with the name of entities in my Power Automate desktop. Let me select the file. That is E colon Power Automate desktop and you can see the entities over here. Let me select that. Now, this entire file in which or the entire text which you have provided in the file that is in which long way it is there. So in that case, you are going to use long way. The default is English. If you are specifying in some other long way, in that case, you are going to give the code for the particular long ways. All right. Now I'm going for the advanced. This advanced is the timeout we are having the parameter. The default parameter for the timeout is 30 seconds, where the link between the two applications, such as Power Automate Desktop and the Google Cloud Platform, we are using API key, which it will link between these two applications and it will give the connectivity for 30 seconds. If the request and response is not happening within these 30 seconds, it will show it as timeout by using these 30 seconds. All right. Now, if you see, I'm after giving all my parameters, we are having two things over here as variable produce, which are the output for the particular entity. One is JSON response, another one is status code. The JSON response will give you the fields over here in a such a way, one is name, another one type, metadata, salience, another one mentions. Okay, in the particular JSON response, we are having all these types of fields. And you can see the status code. We are having two things. One is 200, that is successfully process the request and the response from the Power Automate desktop to the Google Cloud. In a such a way, it will give 200. If the request is and response is not proper or it is not happened properly or not processed properly, in that case, it will give 400. All right. Now, the internal fields we'll discuss whenever we are going to get the response from the JSON. All right. The JSON stands for the JavaScript Object Notation. It's the standard text-based format for representing structured data. All right. Now, let me go ahead. Let me click on Save. Now, you can see in the flow variables, we got the JSON response as well as the status code. Now, I'm going to use the message box or display message to show the output of the JSON response, how it will look like. Let me drag and drop this display message action onto the workspace. Now, the message box title, I will give it as output. Message to display, what is the output that we will get it from the analyze entities? That is JSON response. I'm going to select that JSON response and then I'm going to click on save. Now, once I will run this flow, I will get the different fields in the JSON response. I will explain you one by one, all right? Now, before that, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And if you see what will happen, the analyze entity action will interact with the Google Cloud platform by using our API key. And then it will extract the entities which are available in the particular text. There you can see I am having name that is Joe Biden. That is the type is the person type, right? The entity type, we have got it as a person. And you can see the metadata. We are having Wikipedia. And after that, you can see salience, it's the 0.7 and the mentions that we are having over here, that is a text that is Joe Biden, right? Now, I will explain you one by one about these fields. The first field is the name. What is name? This represents the name of the entity, all right? In our, in our 
text we are having the name right Joe Biden the same name is available over here and if you see the type over here the entity type the entity type we got it as the name right it will maps the entity type as person over here now you can see another field that is metadata it will map the key value string the metadata as we said it is associated with the entity for most of the entities the metadata is a wikipedia url on the knowledge graph mid you can see over here in my metadata we are having the wikipedia url so that it will give the information about that person all right now salience you can see the salience it's a number or the score associated with the entity this is starts from the range 0 to 1.0 you can see over here the salience range that is 0 0.793603 it's a range in between 0 to 1.0 so the salience score provides the information of the entity about the importance or centrality of the entity to the entire document all right now if you see there is the another field that is mentions the mentions of this entity in the input document the api currently supports proper now mentions over here right now this output is in the json format i hope you understand about the fields in the particular json all right now if you see the output is entirely in json format now i want to get the data in a such a way the name and the type and after that these are the two things which i need to capture how can i go ahead and do that if you see in the json response this is the custom object right there you can see the entity sort here right let me click on more there you can see all the entities you can see the name and after that type first you can see name as joe biden and the type is person another one name that is white house that is location and you can see october 7 that is type is date right in a such a way you are having all the entities over here all right this is very difficult to read it so that what i'm going to do i'm going to use the json response as a custom object and then i'm going to retrieve each and everything from for each action first i'm going to use for each first let me drag and drop this for each loop onto the workspace what is the value to treat our json response right there you can see i'm having entities so that i'm going to select json response of entities so entities is our custom list right so that i'm going to use entities over here the current item which are there in the value to treat will comes into the current item let me click on save now in the current item i'm having once again you can see the name and the type right if you see in the json response in the particular entities that i'm having again name and the type i need to capture that one how or i need to retrieve that values how can i go ahead and retrieve that by using current item of name and current item of type so that i will show them in the message box or display message let me drag and drop this display message onto the workspace in for each loop and now the message i will say it as name and the message to display the current item of name there you can see i'm having current item inside that i'm having name correct now let me click on save in a such a way i'm going to take one more message over here and i'm going to give the name over here for the current item with the type i'm going to retrieve the type over here that is entity type i'm going to give the message box title as type all right let me click on save now let me go ahead let me disable the first display message for the json response all right now our entire flow is ready to analyze our text for the entities and then it will display the entities with the name that is name 
and the entity type will get it in these two message box by looping through the JSON response. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There you can see I got the output over here as name as Geo Biden. Let me keep this both the things side by side. Now, if you see, I have given the string over here as Prince Geo Biden will speak from the White House located at 1600 Pennsylvania, Washington, DC on October 7. Now, over here, the first entity is Geo Biden, right? What is the type of this one? You can see this is the person, right? Another one, White House, right? This White House is the location so that it is giving it as location. Another one, Pennsylvania. You can see this is also a location. Another one, Washington, DC. This is also a location. October 7 is the date, right? You can see the date as current type. Another one, you can see 1600. From here onwards, it has been taken it as address. So that if you see, it will come as an address. And once again, there's the 1600, it's a number. Now you can see seven over here as number once again, right? These are all the entities and the entity types from the particular text which we have given by using analyze entities, by using analyze entities action, which will be performed inside by using the analysis, entity analysis. Now we'll see what are the exceptions are available in the analyze entities action. Let me double click on that. Now, if you see on error, let's click on that. There you will find advanced. Inside that, we are having two exceptions. One is fail to invoke cognitive services, which indicates a problem while trying to invoke the service. Another one, request timeout, which indicates the timeout expired while perform the request. All right, if you want to add any rules, then you can go ahead and you can add the new rules from here. All right, we're not going to do right now. All right, I hope you understand how to work with analyze entities action as part of natural processing, which is available under the cognitive services. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.